What's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next ep next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the United States of America. And in this episode, we are continuing to bash through in India because I have made um, a few boo-boos and lost some territory. However, that does not matter. We need to just make sure we maintain the pressure. So let's just dis let's destroy this small Martha force and then we will potentially follow it up with an attack on the force further north, perhaps. It all depends on how we think we're going to do in this battle. I think we should do okay. Uh, but let's not, let's not prejudge the outcome. We've got a fairly bog standard, uh, fairly bog standard Indian colonial army because we can't recruit many cool, unique units in India. So as we're starting to churn out some of these bulk armies, we end up needing to just accept the blandness. Um, my artillery is going to be sat right here. Blasting the enemy. We're not going to try cross the... We're not going to try cross the... Um, the river with my artillery. We're going to put one detachment of... Infantry near the bridge to try and cross. The remainder... Of my forces will storm the river crossing. Cross in force and give the enemy a real headache. Make sure my Dragoons of Pirate will off. Okay, I won. That's what I want to have happen. If possible, I'll destroy the enemy general. Okay, right. Well, they, they, they're going to try and cross the bridge. So get my infantry to run into position to engage the enemy. My infantry is storming across. But my cavalry is still stagnant. My cavalry just run over here in a big block. Run, run, run. Retarget. The enemy mobile elements with my howitz fire, with my artillery fire, I should say. My howitzers are engaging enemy camel gunners, which is fine. On this flank, camel nomads are going down, but let's drop in the square on this unit at least, just because they are trying to attack that unit in particular. Okay, the polygar, they are charging. You guys are roughly being a bit more of a central position than for the square. Let's keep. Bring my cuirassier in. All my infantry are falling square, that's fine. Camels on the bridge have been defeated, so you men will attempt to cross the bridge in force. You guys go this way. Artillery, just engage different targets. Ideally, there we go. Ideally, they will collapse. Allow my infantry to deploy. Skirmishes get over here. They form wedge, not that I really care about that at the minute. Okay, cavalry. There's my dragoons. Advance forward, muskets at the ready, open fire, melee cavalry push around the flank. My cuirassier engage the enemy cavalry. You go okay right, so well you're stuck in stuck in this now. You will finish it. Get my general over here, cavalry get out of the way. Infantry get out of square, form up rapidly. 
not worried about round, about um, quick climb shot with our shrapnel shot. We have got oodles of firepower to play with. Enemy pikemen. These infantry are going to get actually it's very nice of them. Cross storm into the bridge like that. It'll give our infantry more opportunities to annihilate them. Let's probably bring my cavalry into attacking the camel gunners quickly. Pikemen are going after my cavalry. That's to be expected. Infantry advance. There you go. You chase down the camel gunners just to make sure they do route. This infantry unit, yeah, just keep attacking the camel nomads. Switch from artillery. Oh, my artillery switch to round shot. Attack the pikemen. Everybody attack the pikemen. Everybody else can be dealt with elsewhere. Are these pikemen have been shattered from the musket fire. Let's make one gun team firing shrapnel shot. Keep engaging the seat musketeers at least. cavalry into the fight. These guys, they are just attempting to keep harassing the camels to keep them away from us. We just don't want them coming back. Camels were dealt with. Right. Actually, doing some in doing some damage to my guys. That's fair enough. Company infantry, we've got plenty of that. Not a huge amount of them left, so we can't be long until they leave the field. Bring this cavalry back at speed. So the Light Dragoons fire well off, attack the pikemen. Let's maybe get this cavalry to run forward. Push all my infantry forward. Gracier and company cavalry are going to have to smash into these peak warriors. give you a move order, but I have to give you one individually. Or are you just stuck? Boom. Okay, bring my cavalry in. So my light cavalry here are probably going to go down pretty fast. My cuirassiers will not. Cease fire the artillery. Hey, there we go. So let's get both these cavalrys to kill the Sea Musketeers. They will then pile into the other units as they slaughter. No, you men keep going after that pike unit. We're not worried about that armed peasantry unit quite so much. OK, 
Okay, let's just start mopping up. Although you can probably help. The general will attack these musketeers. All of these men can fire it well off. Yeah, some of them spread out quite nicely. Not nice enough. Just remove the enemy. This unit. Excellent. They help the native cavalry attack these pikemen. Excellent. Kill the last handful of these chaps, then you come over here. Help this unit attack those musketeers. Okay, they're all dead. Okay, everybody against this unit of musketeers. Which have spread out enormously. Let's take the Light Dragoons. They have spread out all over the place. I'm going to keep my Light Dragoons over here. Everyone else can follow the masses. Try and kill as many as you can over here. Okay, is that? I don't think that's all of them. No, they're all over here though, probably. Okay, let's bring one unit back over here. Oh yeah, they've spread far out. There's one over there. They're 100% going to escape. There's one here and there's one guy over there. Still, good decisive victory. That's the word we want to see. So we can make up the losses from our company infantry really quite quickly because we've got a big stack of enemy, a big stack of um, troops right here. Ready and awaiting orders. So let's take our weakest unit, use them to fill our other good units. Okay, they're fully consumed. Okay, let's rotate. And let's bring two into Keith Cooper. Nice work by you. We don't need to stay here as a garrison, I dare learn, so we might. But start to stand up a bit of a reserve force. Just a mixture of things. Recruitment's good. Okay, Abraham Pitt. Abraham Pitt, you may go this way, just to stop any of these units from breaking out to the south. Marlon Rose, you can't push. You can push, though. So let's go smack into Baji Hassan. Much more capable army. Quick climb at the ready. Wood artillery. Destroy their cavalry. My howitzers will destroy their infantry. And their artillery will not have enough time in the battle to do the damage it needs to do. He who fights with monsters might take care lest he thereby become a monster. If he gaze too long and gaze for long into an abyss, something undoubtedly interesting happens. Sad about the rain. Okay, gunners up on the high ground. Oh, it's uh, just going to dump quick climb. Uh, let's not select cavalry. Bring my infantry forward as, as an almighty line. Their best security lies in playing as a group. Something like this. Oh, it's I mean, actually, we might, might go for their. Which I should go for their. Um, go for their infantry with my foot artillery. My line infantry. Just try. Run forward. Get onto this slope of the hill.
recovery again. New fire. How much are you can fire? Well, oh, you just have to. You just want to stay nearer the infantry rather than my melee recovery. Everybody else just keep on pushing. Yeah, we should be absolutely hammering them because they're all really nicely clustered together. Put artillery, just open fire on the enemy cavalry. Howitzers, just keep quick climbing the enemy concentrations. Looks like some of the cavalry might be advancing forward. Oh, the lancers are charging. They've got their lancers up and ready. But my infantry will mostly be in position to engage. Also, they're going for my gunners. They're in diamond formation. My infantry have engaged at max range and killed their officer. Sure, nothing stupid's happened. Yeah. Excellent. They're starting to advance on my count my cursier. My dragoons engage the lancers. Cursier. Go for the Royal Indian Cavalry Guards. Company Cavalry push around the flank. My left flank is smashing the enemy cavalry. There is still a unit ahead of us. Push forward, see if we can make them commit to battle. They're probably getting chewed up by the artillery in the center. Yeah, friendly. Okay, the cavalry guards got hit by two units at once. Wouldn't be surprised if there's a bit of friendly fire going on here. Bring the company cavalry back to bolster my cuirassier. Okay, you men form square. Run my skirmishes into the square. Got my company cavalry run in. Cuirassier, hit that enemy lance unit. Native cavalry run around to the back line. My dragoons have returned. Cavalry guards are moving in. Kill the enemy general. Okay, let's send the unit of company infantry in to bolster my lancers. We don't really need them to beat the enemy infantry. Maybe not both of these units, let's just push you guys forward. Push forward, bring my general over here. Send in the Dragoons, the Hindu Warriors will do a lot of damage here. Uh, Native Cavalry keep pushing. Infantry secure the high ground. They shattered, they have get my heavy cavalry up. Cavalry run. Hindu warriors are retreating. Okay, the light foot are going to advance to get into range of that combat and start to fire into it with their supreme accuracy. Same with this infantry unit. Because there's a big enemy cavalry block right here, we should be able to shoot into it reasonably safely. Okay, let's bring lancers in. Charge, counter charge this enemy lancer unit. You are the false prophets. Oh, Amen, form square. Hillary, just keep attacking the enemy center. Okay, fire well on for you. Just put a volley into the enemy cavalry. Go fell the few on the outer edge. The enemy lances have come back, but we're protected by the squares. Engage the enemy infantry. Enemy 
gunners are fleeing. Okay, the enemy cavalry... The enemy infantry are going to be what turns the tide here. But I don't think we necessarily care. We have won the battle elsewhere. What I probably want to do. Although, now we saw some of charging our line, they're getting picked off by constant withering fire. Bring my cavalry to storm over this side of the battlefield. March at speed. Is that my swordsman still holding on? There's not a huge to do. We're gonna bring bringing my cavalry over as a reserve. There we go, that got the lancers to turn around. Royal Indian cavalry guards are sticking around. Even engage artillery, bombard the hell out of this unit. No, you men go this way. It's enemy. There is enemy infantry in here. Go, jet. Charge the back of the Hindu warriors. They are shaken. The lances are wavering. Come here, come hither. Okay, it's it's not just them. There's the Hindu musketeer unit all the way at the back. Get my round shot. Get my foot artillery to my yeah my foot artillery to engage them. The rest of my line just advance at speed forward. General, get ready. Hindu warriors are wavering. They were anyway. Company infantry push in. Give them a much needed boost. This is all this is like a very much a killing field for, for um, cavalry. Just bog them down and then send in melee infantry. So it's a good move by them, but I don't think I give a damn. Pick up the my cuirassier. Yeah, they're wavering. In comes my infantry. Everybody kill them. Yeah, can't do much about them. Now it's just firing round shots. Still not in range. Eh, just kill those Hindu warriors. Brave souls, but no one will ever know what they achieved. Slaughtered by their own comrades, kind of. You men push forward to get on the flank of the Hindu musketeers. They seem to be doing well. They are firing by rank, but then again, so are we. We've got flanking fire and superior artillery. Yep, that's enough for them. Awesome. A bloody battle, but I think that is the, the enemy strength in this part of India destroyed. And we are getting doing a good job of pushing them north of the river um you're out of range we can't so you're short a unit of dressier yes sir okay you push forward you can stay where you are you're moving around to flank some of these troops this force here is just building up the infrastructure satara can move if needed Ultimately, they may, I say may, will be expanded into a full army. There we go, Mysore. But you're not ready. Aha, but you are. Excellent. Let's bring. Actually, let's move. You out this army in. Come on. 
get them embarked. Then Eric Pottrell. You may be the last unit to be raised in 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 um homily. Because we're ending we're, we are just outpacing whoops it too fast. Okay, let's deliver you here to hold the crossing. We're not necessarily going to take Naroon. We want this army to hold the bridge. It's not impossible, sir. Raid is trade route, but I don't think it's going to matter. We want to make sure we are investing in the riches of India. 65,000, not bad at all. You require two units of artillery, of howitzers particularly. You have 24 pounders. Carl Bradley, you can hold where you are for now. You need howitzers as well. Two howitzers plus three infantry. Can you get anything interesting? Sipoy unit. Let's get two mercenary units for you, because you haven't recruited any mercenaries, hardly. Okay, so Osbert McDowell. Go on, Nathaniel Green. Attack Akbarabad. And then we're going to push Osbert McDowell up at speed to help out. Cloudsley Cockburn is going to deal with Rustum. This this depleted army. We don't mind if you take take damage. You're just holding a gap, Mr. Cockburn. <laughs> yeah, you guys just holding. That might be a bit of an overkill, but we just want to make sure we we wrap these guys up and prevent them from breaking out. You're just trying to defend Medabad, but make sure we're still recruiting like mad because then this garrison can try and defend the city once the fortifications are built, they should start to be suffering from adverse economic conditions. Um, but we are going to, well first of all, this rake is going to go up to Srinagar, see what's going on up here. Well, at the very least, they can see what's going on in Lahore. So I think Punjab is unfriendly. Yeah, we're going to take Lahore. But we need to we need this, this um, these troops to sweep up capture Nagpur, destroy this force here, and then just march north and solidify the front line. But let's take Akbarabad. That's going to be that's a significant centre in the enemy's economy. I think it might be the last major city, I think. Once you break the back of the Marathas, we can march up through the Middle East, get into uh, Bag Baghdad, uh, Ankara, then we'll really start to encroach on Europe from the east as well. Particularly marching up towards Russia. Start clearing out some of those territories. <laughs> I think if we can break the Ottomans that would be the best. It would open up the Balkans to um, additional support against the Austrians. Either way, this will be a major capture. How fun. We need to be careful with our artillery position though because the enemy will be able to shoot us with their mortars. So let's get our guns up on this hill instead. Our howitzer is going to be just unloading quickline as fast as they can. So we want to create a fairly coherent front line. Realistically, we're going to be punching through multiple breaches at once and sending our skirmishers around the flanks, broadly speaking. Light cavalry, not quite so ideal for a siege assault. Oh, it says, quick like the armed populace, I suppose. I want to see where you guys shoot. Ooh, you're actually not in a good spot. You may break down the corner. 
if they won't fire because their limber's in the way, which is fair enough, but I can't be bothered with moving it. Now let's uh, aim here. Let's try and weaken this gun team. I'm sure there's, there is another, yeah, there's another mortar unit back here. Yep. Let's speed up time. So we are attacking Indian fortifications and they do, they fall really quickly. They're the best, in my opinion, they're the best ones to attack and they're the worst ones to defend because they do fall quite easily. Like it's super easy and, and ultimately there's lots of segments because you can knock this down you can knock down here, you can knock down here, you can knock the corner down. It's very easy. It's much more difficult to box people in. Even better if you stay up here with Siege Musketeers. They're good, good infantry. In theory, you want to also pick it in that section there to try to trap the enemy, but I'm not going to worry about that. So picking off their gunners, that's always nice. So the corner's at 66%, this section of the wall's at 72%. 96% of the corner section. Very well, let's... I was going to say it's rejig our targets. You go for the corner. You go for that section. Interesting. I gave you an order and you fire at will into the center. I don't hate it. If that's what you want to do. That's fine. But I do want you to crack open that section first before you start worrying about shooting at the center. Ooh. 93%. Mortars down to three crew. Switch my howard to start shooting at that Bajir infantry. I might get them to shoot at this section of the wall here. As soon as they're ready, I want to switch my. Artillery targets. Okay, this unit attack the fort here. Yeah, it's starting to defend. They put some stuff up to defend the breach. Okay, how it's uh, attack the Bajir infantry. Let's maybe start advancing forwards. So these infantry are going to cover the flank. The cavalry is going to push this flank here. The skirmishers are going to go up here as well. Everybody else who isn't my artillery advance forward. shoot at the corner just destroy that piece of defense good and now you can fire a will at whoever you like so you won't shoot at the wall if I give you an order to do it you won't shoot into the center sorry if I give you an order to do it let's make more breaches We might be able to trap a, a good chunk of a firelock arm populist unit in there. That'd work. Their one gun is firing, their mortars are advancing. 
firing on my on the third regiment of foot. First grenadiers. Okay, enemy cavalry, enemy uh, quick plan is firing. Yeah, that's blew a hole in them. Oh, it says quick line those mortars. So you're going to go here and cover that. You're going to go here and cover the gate. Skirmishers are going to run up and capture parts of the wall. New men are going to position around here. The Marines. The mercenaries. Company infantry attempt to secure the wall. Grenadiers. Get ready to defend the center. Although you're getting hit. Attack the final calm populace. Okay, you do something like this. Give a military to attack around. Rather than shoot at things, shoot near things. Yes, that works. Even if you just demolish that house. Oh, he sniped the general. What a shot. You're going to form a square here. So this is enemy light infantry. These are firelock armed populace. So they will exact a toll on my infantry, but not a huge amount. Regulars are getting into position. Okay, let's try again. Let's see my light and can up on the wall as well. Okay, you get my light infantry to secure the gatehouse. Enemy cavalry is walking up to the edge of the field. They're not actually trying to stop us, which is fine. You men take position here. You men take position here. Continental Marines cover the flank. There we go. So we've secured the gatehouse here. if we can advance capture the armory all these guys want to do is man the fire step and pour fire into the center of the city same with all these guys to be honest you guys run man the fire step and just open up against the cent open up against the Center of the city. Grenadiers, commit the grenadiers and fight here. And my skirmishers just keep picking off the enemy infantry here and the enemy general's bodyguard unit. 
Grenadiers attack the Lancers first. Okay, light infantry don't get stuck in. The mercenaries get stuck in at the light infantry. Let's just capture the gate first with them. Okay, there we go. Looks like these guys are finally getting into a bit of a scrap. Light infantry, just get to the edge of the battlefield here. Let's see if I can get this infantry unit to squeak in. Let's see if I can get this cavalry unit in here as well. Howitzers aim at the mortar with the round shot. Let's get Mr. Green down here as well. Grenadiers commit into the action. Charge the armed populace. I'll make sure my dragoons at fire well off. Long rifleman is still trying to pick off the general's bodyguard. New men just open fire into the general bodyguard with fire by rank. Grenadiers just love the idea of chasing down that infantry. Bargier lances are advanced up to the up to up our up onto the wall. Fourth light dragoons are here. Okay, there we go. You men start picking off the artillery. If we can take out this general's bodyguard, that'd be pretty awesome. Yeah, you guys got involved in a fight I didn't want you to be in. Tree, stay where you are for now. All the light dragoons engage the lancers. You're just picking your picking your way through the enemy artillery. Infantry go in and charge the back of those armed populace units. Skirmishers get down into the into the mud with the rest of them. Grenadiers, charge the body of your infantry. These units just push in. And mowing our way through the armed populace here. Yeah, we're losing buildings, but I don't think we really care. Oh, the enemy sent units in to try and clear us out of the fort. Let's clear out enemy infantry here. My dragoons are going down. Get the rifleman over here to see if they can secure the center. There goes you have company infantry. Excellent. That's another couple of the units dealt with. Push out and kill the mortars. Rifleman attack. That mortar garrison crew, just get rid of them. Right now we've got maximum, we can apply, we have to apply maximum pressure. Let's get Mr. Green in here. You men kill the last of these. This armed populace unit. square because it's a Royal Indian Cavalry Guard unit so they might actually kill you. Okay, kill that gunner. Okay, that 
cavalry and it might actually take both those units out. Okay, you may attack both of them. Still don't have these. I guess, I don't know if you can actually be killed by them. Let's just make sure my artillery's are out well. Oh! Just bring this, bring this rifleman over here. Infantry over. There we go, just stay in the center, start the countdown. I'm assuming it's this infantry on the wall here that's actually still pretty okay with us. Pretty okay with fighting us. Cavalry attack. Water unit and Tanya Green get out of here. Infantry, push in, kill the cavalry guards. Okay, we killed that gunner. 137 company infantry. Pushing in. Much bloodier battle than it needed to be because it didn't have enough artillery. Okay, form up our infantry. Engage the enemy, which might attempt to try and block us. Kill the Indian cavalry guards. Charge forward into the Bajir infantry. Go get them, Marines. One last peasant armed infantry. Peasant armed infantry. And back, I've got a peasant. Excellent. Kill that unit there. Form ranks at your own leisure. Excellent. Finally shattered it. Zero seconds remaining. Yeah, you better run. Awesome, but now we have to hold the city, which is kind of why I wanted another army to bring up the rear, because I imagine this is going to take some time to come into the fold. As long as there aren't any massive Indian armies nearby, which which there isn't, it's only the you. Let's destroy the university, pleasure gardens, steam powered cloth mill. Cotton mill. I'm going to get rid of one of these cotton mills. Let's get repairing all these buildings. Let's get Mr. Green to replenish his army. Get Mr. McDowell to push up at all speed. Yep, this should really have caused a lot of problems for you, Marathas. Actually, you can go. You can probably threaten. Bear, uh, Nagpur, that's probably the biggest threat. For the most part, India's pretty good. So I'm happy just to let these guys bob around. Okay, in Europe, is there anything else? Three infantry. By the lad, march. Okay, let's get to Newcastle. These mercenaries can join them. Waiting for your order. Embark the army, because it really is just a case of having so many armies they can't stop us you know we have a large battle but we still have plenty of troops to push forward just to keep the momentum going Engel Engelbert Bentedink okay let's get another you've recruited a skirmish unit good ready for orders Okay, let's get you got an engineer unit. Let's get you a garrison guard. We've already getting you a garrison guard unit. Let's get you a fusilier unit. Then in Edinburgh, let's just start mass recruiting infantry. Okay, so in Europe itself, 
Lots of these units that are being recruited from Lisbon. Uh, you're not going anywhere anymore, which kind of sucks. Awaiting further orders. Okay, for the most part, just recruit another infantry unit and assume that that's Sir. done. More infantry coming from an awful long way away. We did have a series of climactic battles. It did work. Okay, you're just holding your position. You're just holding your position. We don't. I don't mind if we fight both of these Austrian armies. We've got one army in the rear to deal with these guys if they decide to push. It's more about make sure, making sure we maintain our position in the front. Because what we may elect to do is attack. Well, you men just keep replenishing because you've got even more guys running around the flanks trying to screw with us. Two turns till you get metal roads, but that still doesn't really help. Combine some units here. Push an infantry unit out to you. Oh, intercepted. Fine. Don't quite know what you were hoping to achieve here. No super cool infantry, just make sure our best infantry's up front. Yeah, Gottlieb. You done goofed. Yeah, we really need to take Hanover, because they're right now they're just using it to push around our flank. We can't attack. And that means that gives them the the initiative when really we could use it to open up another flank. But it could open up a front with the Prussians, which co could cause problems for us down the line. But let's wait and see. That may not be a problem. Okay, so deploy it on the hill somewhere. Oh yeah, some of our reinforcements coming in right behind us. Come at me, Gottlieb. I think you're so tough. It's pretty ideal, actually, that this flank is the fastest to bring troops in. You might work your way over here. Excellent. Oh yeah, they're bringing artillery to bear on us. How it says. Okay, this infantry block is going to advance forward at speed. Cavalry. Get the infantry up here, sort of. Push forward. See, you're about to get yourself caught in a little bit of crossfire. No, I don't have any. Artillery and support yet. Yeah. 
this does simplify things. Oh, white dragoons are advancing on us. Form square. So you're going to attack the square. That's quite a bold move. Giving you a close volley. Storm forward. Infantry advance. We're not going to let them hold up our attack. Mob them. They are naught but dragoons. You might kill one of my captains. trees push through the trees oh cute push forward with speed cursier go deal with those raw cursier guards yeah, you can hit me with Quick climb if you like, Buster. Hey, they did. We're going after Hanover next. We're not going to let you get away with this every so very often. This militia unit and just start shooting them in the backside. The even advance forward, we're gonna bream these Cursier guard. You could not stand up to the fire of the Fusilier Regiment of Him. flank causing trouble. We've got a bit of an advantage on this flank. There we go, get back into position. Use the air regiment is starting to find themselves isolated and in trouble. Form square to block up the SARS. Jamie generals on the flank, I'm not overly bothered about them. Tune of lines come back. There we go. Enemy general has been well enemy this enemy militia, sorry, has been defeated. Push up the hill. Let's put you in square on the flank so you'll fire into the general unit. forward into the face of the enemy. You advance forward, take the high ground, get my skirm get my skirmish cavalry up the top. Usually a regiment de Ligne is upset. Cassier Garda, yeah they're doing a good job. Let's bring my light cavalry out of here. Dropping squares because enemy hussars have come back. Line infantry. Take cross the air. Get you around here. The general's charged my square, so my cavalry are going to march around the hill. Infantry get out of line. Form square. Broken, broken, wavering. Get ready 
and shoot into the back of the militia. Yeah, we got him in a little bit of a crossfire. Light cavalry smacked the militia. Potentially pick the wrong unit for a move, unless you break now. There you go. Okay, general bodyguard, get over here. There are Crusier guards still holding up my Crusier. I mean, they are guard units, sure, but there's 24 of them, there's 60 odd of us. There goes the militia. Light cavalry sharpshooters smash the fusilier regiment in India. I think their general is going to escape, sadly. No, he might return and fight. Although he's at the right of the front of his unit. He's on his turn to fight. He's blown. Got him. Okay, let's speed up time. Send one unit to go chase down the line of unit. All that's left to the all that's left of the line. A couple of his infantry units have to decided to come back. Bring my cavalry across so I'll be ready to charge. Oh no, there we go. Yeah, we'll continue. Just to make you suffer the way of pain. There are stakes, but we should, yeah, that course will bring me around them. Chase them down, see if you can kill them, but no worries if not. We'll kill this fusilier unit quite nicely. Kill the tenth. Kill them all! Awesome, it's all on to this last infantry unit, which will escape because they spread out reasonably well. Yeah. Not a great battle, a bit messy, but I'll still take it. Two to one. Could do with more than that, really. Don't worry, Giles Henley, men replenish. Uh, the Southerns replenish. Xavier Clapperton. Well, you're in pretty good nick, although that has prevented our plan. Although, so Hanover. Hostile. You're allied with Prussia. That's part of the problem. Anything more? Godwin Gates. You are recruiting artillery. I think I have to bring bring this large cluster of um, Austrian troops to battle. So let's hit this unit right here to try and maximize the number of Austrian units we'll bring to battle. Lots of smaller forces. Should be okay. Uh, but looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for some more Austrian slaughter. Though they should... They should still... I mean, once some of these armies are replenished, we should be in a position to start smashing through. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.